The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Yeah, please. <clears throat> Eddie, um, I'm not sure if it was yourself or your system, but when the when the third goal went in, you could see you kind of trying to get your players to to keep calm, and that kind of summed up the surreal sense of this and what the what this result must mean to you as a football club, I guess. Well, I think every time we scored, we were worried that they were going to score straight away, like the uh, the Carabao Cup game. <laughs> um, anyone that was here that night will know sort of what we mean. So, um, it's just a case of keeping. You know, as, as the goals went in, keeping our calm and, and making sure we defended well because we know the quality that Chelsea have got. They could have come back at any stage of that game. So, um, just delighted to win. Eddie, obviously you won here in 2015. This must top it. I mean, how, how big a result is this in, in even a club's history? Yeah, I think it's a huge moment for us this season. I mean, I think um, it's the best performance um, that we've had at, at this level to, uh, and the result has matched it. And full credit to the players for that because this is a really tough place to come and Chelsea are an outstanding team so to perform in the way that we did um, we defended very well throughout the game we attacked very well with purpose throughout the game um, and I thought the, the shape and balance of the team was very good today so compliment to all the players for, for how they've performed Did you sense that Chelsea were vulnerable beforehand? No, not really I think um, we prepared knowing how good Chelsea are um, I think we started the game very strongly for the first 20-25 minutes and um, then they came into it, and the key thing is that we didn't concede before half time, and we came out in the second half and scored, scored three great, great goals from our perspective. And um, obviously, the goals changed games, and I think they were the, the big turning points in the match. I'd be honest, three? Did you expect three, or is this even beyond your your wildest dreams? No, we didn't expect three. We, we were coming here. You just want to get something from the game, something to take. You know, we are unbeaten in five games coming here today, so we just wanted to keep our unbeaten run going and and try and pick up points in every game. We know how difficult that can be. But to win, and to win by the margin we have, is um, not something we expected, but something we're certainly uh, very proud of. Did you change your approach at all because of Chelsea's weaker attack? No, no, we didn't change our approach. You know, we, we prepared well for this game. We had a, a long time to do that with the breaking games for us, and, and obviously Chelsea have had a busy schedule. Um, but it doesn't always work out, the fact that the team that has the biggest preparation time performs performs well but that went with us today um, but our game plan was good and um, I think you look at Chelsea's attack their, their attack's outstanding they got outstanding individuals but I thought our defence marshalled them very well and our goalkeeper when called upon made a couple of good saves Did you, um, did you expect Chelsea's offer a bit more when you, when you went 3 up? I think that's easy to say I think um, I think you have to compliment my players I'm not going to criticise Chelsea at all um, I'm just going to compliment my team uh, the way we defended, the way we battled, uh, the work rate of the team was was excellent today, and we were determined to keep a clean sheet. You know, we haven't had one in a long time, so to get that away from us uh, and uh, achieve that at a place like this is uh, again even more satisfying. Where does it rate for you personally as a manager going back to League One and League Two, some big wins down there? Yeah, I think this is the the, the best uh, I do because of the performance. Uh, it, when we won here in our first season in the Premier League, it was a great performance, a great night, a historic moment for us, but we were backs to the wall and they peppered our goal and we, we rode our luck at times. I don't think there was any luck connected with today. I thought it was a very, very strong performance. The fact you didn't proceed straight away and you didn't ship three like you did against Arsenal last season when you, when you went three and up, does that tell you something about the, the team? Yeah, I think well, I think we're growing. I think with every experience you have in this division, um, I think you learn and you grow from it. Hopefully, that's not to say that we're the finished article, but I still feel we're improving. And I thought, I thought we looked a strong team tonight. I didn't see any any weaknesses in us. I thought we um, had a very good mentality going into the game. We were very brave with our approach, and uh, the players delivered a, a superb performance. Maybe it's not often you make headlines on deadline day, <laughs> but you have to pay for the right reasons. Have you got any more headlines in, in the pipeline in the uh, hour or so that remains? Well, I haven't spoke to anyone connected with the transfers. Um, 
but I'm 99% sure that won't be the case. The medic referred to Wolves is probably going to happen a bit too late. No, I don't think there's anything going on there. Chris Beckham, you tried and tried to get up. Have we? I'm not sure. <laughs> Is there any truth in that? Can you say about Chris Methodon, or do you not know? Or? No, I don't know. Apologies, now. You seem to have words with Cesc Fabregas when he left the pitch. What did he say to you? No, no, we were just wishing each other well. And, you know, Cesc, um, every time that we've played Chelsea, uh, we've always had a little chat after the whistle, so no, no problems. You've beaten three of the teams above you recently, and your next three games are against teams below you, so different sort of proposition yeah it is and I think that's the danger of the Premier League because the, the challenge for me is to make sure the team are very grounded and we're very humble in victory and we look forward to the next game uh, knowing how difficult it will be and the beauty of this league it's so unpredictable so we need to make sure that we're, we're very focused and prepared of what now are three huge games for us thank you guys thank you cheers, cheers.